Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this FAT5 under kitchen cabinet light made by Mega Bright. Mega Bright. 8 watts, takes an 8 watt light bulb. Pretty cool, it's got the mounting things. Probably so like uh, you mount on the clips first and then you clip this onto there. So it's easy mounted basically. And then here you can connect more. It also comes with a little tiny cable, so then you just pull, you just plug the little tiny cable into there, and then you can plug in another one. So here it has this neat little sliding door, so you can put in the cable. A little spring, boing boing, and it takes an eight watt fluorescent tube. If you're wondering, how do you even like access this? Well. You can pull back this, and then you can slide out the cover. You can pull out both ends, but I'm only doing one because it's kind of hard to pull out both ends. Comes with an FAT5 cool white bulb with a like, messed up etch there. <laughs> it's like they printed it out twice, so one of the bulbs didn't get its etch. Pretty cool. Then, then you could just like twist this. But... But if you twist it, it's you have to like twist it a certain way because you, the, there's only like a hole on one side there. There's not a hole going on both sides, so you have to like look at it, see where the hole is, and then twist it that way. Use FAT FAT five there. This bulb is kind of like seems like it's it's like rusted there. It's an old bulb. Like the cement is like all. Messed up there. So, when you go to put it back in, wait, did this thing fit in there before? Well, this is very cool. Boing, boing. It's spring loaded, which is very cool. Man, this thing has all the features. Put that in, then we twist. Makes a little click noise so you know where it is. Comes with a nice cover. We'll put this cover on. Then we'll try our best to push it back together. It takes a little bit of force. There we go. It seems like I break it, but I broke it, but um it, it has to it's it's a very hard force. Alright. We could plug in this cable, pull back the sliding door, or you could just or you could just like push it up like this. It only goes in one way. Ta da! Fits in there nicely. And then you can plug it in. Three, two, one. Alright, so nothing happens because it's not turned on. But there is no switch. Where's the switch? I showed it all to you. There's no switch. It's actually a capacitive touch. Which is crazy because I never had one of these that had a capacitive touch. There it goes in there. It kind of struggled at first to came on, to come on. It's it's not that bright, just the bright enough for you to see underneath your cabinet light. You could touch at any side, so you could touch over here. Flip it around so it faces me. So cool. It makes this little tuk, 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 tuk noise when you touch it. There. So, so what's really cool about this is because it's a capacitive touch, you can you can use this copper tape to can, to actually like work it from here. If it does work, sometimes it doesn't work. It might not work. There, it worked. <laughs> It's not very, it doesn't work very well for turning it off, I guess. But it definitely turns it on. You can run this throughout your room and then all the way on the other side of the room. It does the light and then run the copper tape all the way to the other side. Click, turns on the light on the other side of the room.
so cool. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of this magnet light. Um, uh, under kitchen fluorescent under kitchen cabinet light with a capacitive touch and all the cool other features. And thanks for watching.